Good morning and happy Monday. My name's Orla and I'm on a mission to get healthy. So I think we're gonna do something completely different today. We are going to copy a YouTuber that I watch all the time called Pickup Limes. She's nutritionalist, she is vegan, and um, she's a little cutie pie. She also seems to know what she's talking about, which is the most important thing. I have created a few of her recipes before in the past. They're all scrumdilyumptious. So I thought, okay. I'm struggling for a variety at the moment. I'm struggling to like feel excited about my food at the moment. So I was like, okay, what would pick up limes do? Let's eat like her today. Let's just think like pick up limes today and not think like Orla today or else we'll eat pita pizzas and that salad for lunch for the rest of our lives. The best thing to do now is get up and move my body. <laughs> So it's breakfast time. I'm going to make a pick up limes, oatmeal or porridge, whatever. It's in our video named five meals I eat every single week, vegan and healthy. I'll link it below anyway, but I'm just going to follow that real quick. Let's go. It. We're wanging it. So what I've done so far is I've put three quarters of a cup of oats, these ones here, they're just the cheap ones from Tesco, Scottish oats, and three quarters of a cup of the unsweetened almond milk. I think it's just from, oh it's from Morrison's. I have, n I have not seen a Morrison's close to us before. Right, um, and now it said stew the berries, but I think I'm just gonna heat them up in the microwave. Oh. In the meantime, I am going to cut up this banana into little pieces and put it in with the porridge as it's cooking. While that's cooking, I think I'm going to throw in some cinnamon. You know it's a game changer. Stewing the banana while the porridge is is stewing. Because normally I just heat my porridge up in the microwave because I'm a lazy bitch. Mm. I'm gonna finish this and then get logged into work and I will see you for lunch. It's lunch time! And I am so outrageously hungry. I think I'm really hungry because normally when she has her porridge, she seems to have snacks with it. But uh, I just wasn't hungry at the time. And then I was working and then I just was like, wow, I'm super hungry. So I'm gonna make a quick lunch. Oh God. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a quick lunch and then get back to work because I'm busy in work today. What I'm gonna make is this like, bean sandwich and I bear with me because it sounds super gross but it is yummy yeah I used to make it all the time then I kind of forgot about it and um I think I said before like I'll like eat something until I'm sick of it and then I'm on to the next thing and then I kind of forget about that thing so I'm kind of excited to eat it again because I really 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 liked it okay hopefully you can see me what I'm gonna make is the bean sandwich so first <laughs> so first of all I got my beans doing pretty well my bones I uh, got pinto beans in water so I'm just gonna drain them We'll go. Okay, so they're drained, and now I'm gonna put them into a little container. Woo! I think this is enough to make like four sandwiches. I'm making a sandwich, just so you know. Uh, for four of them, I take three spoons of salsa. That was quite a big spoon, so I might just take two. And yeah, that's how I roll here. And cumin in here. Then I put some paprika in there, 
little bit of pepper. Mush this bad boy up. Now, I don't mush it until it's like complete mush. Like there is still little bits of beans, but it's kind of like half mushy. Whole wheat seed bread, that's pretty high in calories, but um, when I put it in my fitness pal, it's actually not that bad for you. Get two slices. Right, then I'm gonna cut up my avocado. I take one little scoop of that and put it on my sandwich. Also wanna cut some spring onion or scallions or whatever you wanna call that. I think she puts chives on. I really don't know what the difference is or if there even is a difference, but if there is a difference, can you just let me know? <laughs> Cause I'm being a silly goose then. And some little tomatoes. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of mixed leaves on. Some of my bean mix on this side. Some of the spring onions. I really do love spring onions. Any type of onions, really. I love them. Some tomatoes. Then I pop on a little bit of sriracha. She pops some strawberries in as a snack for afterwards. stuck in. Yes. <laughs> I think like when like if you decide ever to like stop eating meat or whatever you're like well, what in God's earth do I eat? And eating like a bean sandwich sounds so grim. Have you ever thinking about maybe going like doing meatless Mondays or something? And you're like what do I eat? You do find like weird recipes that you literally love. Like I wouldn't even dream of eating like meat like ever again. But the first while was a struggle. You end up eating like loads of like processed meats and stuff. But this, this is delicious. So in other news, Charlie the Gin Spots had a new lease of life. Who's back? I don't think he ever really left, but he's been knocking about now for about, about two months, <laughs> maybe more, I don't know. Every time you think he's gone, he just like stares. Little bit of news. Um, I'm going to go on holidays for a few days and I am so excited, but also I'm really, really anxious and nervous about getting my body out like in public. Yeah, like I went to Thailand a couple of years ago, right? It was the most amazing holiday ever, but at the same time, like my hair was just out of control. I was like sweating everywhere I went. My face was blood red. It was just like, ah! It's half three and I'm feeling snappy. Let's go. I'm gonna have an orange um, or a Sasuma. What is it? It's a Sasuma. I don't know what the difference is, but I like them all. Does anyone else open their oranges like that? They just like bite it to get the little, to get the little skin flap. I finished work for today. It's shortly past five and I want to make pad thai. Um, Pick up limes makes this like unreal looking pad thai with avid garden vegan guy. And anyway, it looks so unreal and I just, I, I think I'm game for that pad thai. I was going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how I made the pad thai, but I just linked the video below because obviously it's pick up Lime's recipe and she explains it way better than I do and it's a little bit more complicated than I am used to. And I'm about 90% sure that I have somehow messed up this recipe along the way. And that's the day eating like pick up Lime's. I am stuffed but I really, really did not like the Pad Thai dish like at all it was it was awful i don't know if i cooked it wrong or what happened there i probably i probably messed up along the way at some point but yeah it was it was not nice it was not nice at all however I would definitely recommend if you are trying to be more plant-based or trying not to eat as much meat that her 
um, the pickup limes actually has some amazing recipes and as much as the pad thai wasn't to my liking she does have loads of other ones that are so so nice that I've tried and tested before and that's why I thought this would be an easier uh, an easier thing to do just just get more of her recipes but yeah you can't like everything so far it is anyway my room's a tip at the minute like really really bad oh my god and it's because I am turning 30 at the end of the month. <laughs> I'm gonna go on holidays and we're going abroad. So I've literally ripped out like everything uh, to try on. And some of my stuff when I went on my last like warm holiday, uh, some of that stuff doesn't fit me. It's too big, which is great. I'm so excited to go. Like I really, really am. But equally, I'm so nervous about um, I don't feel comfortable like in a swimsuit and I don't feel comfortable showing too much skin and I don't know if that's like I don't I don't know what that is because for the most part I'm a confident person when it comes to like me and my personality like I've like obviously I blast my life all over the internet at the moment so it really doesn't make sense but that's where I'm up to I'm very insecure about like you know get my body out and it's it's sort of always been a thing since I was younger like I'm quite self-conscious particularly about my thighs and my thighs being on show and I just don't like my housemate just came home there now and he was outside without his key so I had to go let him in anyway yeah I'm quite nervous about it because I don't really like having my body out in public and I don't know if it's because I'm overweight or because like obviously in the UK you're normally covered up. So I'm not really used to the thought of walking around in my underwear. Like the thought of me being outside right now on the street in my underwear mortifies me beyond any belief. Like I would be completely mortified out there. It would be like a nightmare. But yet when you go on holidays, it's like people are like, oh, just, just wear a swimsuit, like just wear a bikini, like what's your problem? Why are you so weird about it? And it's like, cause it's not normal to me, like to do that once a year, to just be okay to be in my underwear in front of like people. It's, it's irregular, it's weird. Also when I'm on holidays, I think I'll try and keep you up to date to let you know how I'm staying healthy on holidays. I'm gonna try and not miss an upload. However, it might be hard to stay on top of that. Anyway, if you like this video of me cooking some food, liking some food, not liking some food, please remember to like and comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I upload every Monday and I'll see you next Monday. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel like a food. No, that's a new. No.